Welcome to our lecture line. In this example, we're going to wrap the rope around the post once, twice, and four times. So in, in essence, each time doubling the number of turns and number of loops around the post. We're going to keep the coefficient of static friction the same, and what we want to do is calculate what the tension will be over here in order to keep the rope from slipping if we apply a force of 1,000 newtons on the other side. So again, we use the same equation as before. We solved it for T1, and now we can calculate it for each of these three cases. T1 is going to be equal to 1,000 newtons applied on one side, divided by E to the coefficient of static friction, 0 0.4, times only one turn, which is 2 pi radians. And now we can see what that is equal to. Take the inverse and times 1,000 equals, and it gives us 81 newtons. So T1 is equal to 81 newtons. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to do it again, but now we take two turns around the post and see what happens. All right, so that gives us T1 is equal to 1,000 newtons divided by times 4 pi. Again, we take 0.4 times, times 4 times 1,000 equals, and it gives us 6.56 newtons. So what's interesting here is even though we simply doubled the number of turns from 1 to 2, the amount of tension required to keep the rope from slipping dropped dramatically from 81 newtons down to less than 10% of the original amount. So now let's do it four turns and see what happens. Now we get T1 is equal to 1,000 newtons. Four, that's the coefficient of static divided friction by e times e. 8 pi, which is four times around. Let's see what we get. 0.4 times 8,000 equals, and now T1 is just a very tiny 0.043 newtons. Notice that if you compare this to the previous example, that doubling and quadrupling the coefficient of static friction had the same effect as doubling and quadrupling the number of turns around the post, because both of them are part of the exponent of the, of the number E, and because of that, the tension dramatically, or the tension required to keep your rope from slipping, dramatically decreases. And that's how you can see the relationship between the tension, the coefficient of friction, and the number of turns in the rope. And that's how it's done.